Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on using multiplicative reasoning in a recipe. So we've got these cake ingredients for four people, so we would need 110 grams of flour, six eggs and 200 milliliters of milk. And this is not going to be a very nice cake because there's no sugar whatsoever. But let's just say we wanted to make ingredients for cakes for 12 people, then we need to think, well, what do we need to do to the ingredients? Well, if these ingredients are only for four people, we're clearly going to need more ingredients. But how many times more? So we need to scale the ingredients appropriately. Can we see that if we're cooking for 12 people, that's three times as much as four people. So we need to have three times as much ingredients. Now, if we do 110 grams of flour, and we times that by three, that means we're going to need 330 grams of flour. And we need three times as many eggs. So if we have six eggs, and we times that by three, then we have 18 eggs. And finally, if we have 200 millilitres of milk for four people, then for 12 people, three times as much, that's going to be 600 millilitres of milk. Now, the second one is more complicated. We want cakes for 10 people. Now, if we're going from four people to 10 people, how many times as much is that? Well, two lots of four is eight. So timesing four by two will give us for eight people, but 10 is an extra two people. That's an extra half a lot of people. So we need to basically times this by 2.5. If we divide 10 by four, we can see that we get 2.5. So if we have 2.5 times as many people, two and a half times as many people, then we need two and a half times as much ingredients. So flour, 110 grams times by 2.5, two and a half, we could do on a calculator, but two lots of 110 is 220, and half a lot of 110 is 55. 220 plus the 55 is 275 grams of flour. What about eggs? Six eggs, if we times that by 2.5, well, two lots of six eggs is 12 eggs, and then half a lot of six eggs is three eggs, 12 plus three is 15. And again, you could just use your calculator. And then finally, 200 milliliters of milk. If you times that by 2.5, that's gonna give you 500 milliliters of milk. And that is the final answer.